So it's not technically seven o'clock Eastern time, but I hit record or I hit go live. Well, so we're it, live, Francine. It's like six fifty nine. Oh, it's seven o'clock right now. It just turned. All right, on. now it's just seven o'clock. Yeah, so we can begin. I was so excited to get going that I was like, I gotta jump the gun. Wow, what so a, unprofessional, but I what did. a new you. <laughs> <laughs> I like to follow the rules. I like to play by the book, but not mm, this time. I hear you. I hear you. All right. Well, we're going to wait a couple minutes just to let some people. Oh, I didn't tweet it out. Hey. You, I know. What's up with that? You did not. I Maybe we're, we're going to be organic tonight. Like 45 minutes ago. And uh, let's do it. Join us live. Right now. I totally won't be watching the Met game in the other screen while we're recording. I totally here. will. <laughs> No, what? I said I, I wasn't. You're going to. Anybody want to just give me Met updates during this recording will be uh, over with the Chadster. You don't sports bet, do you? I do not. I can't. And I cannot. I, it's it, cannot. especially on baseball. No, I cannot only because I just I don't like it. I, I, baseball oh. to me, it's I'm a traditional baseball fan. I can't bet on it. Okay. I could play fantasy football and bet on football because I'm not a big football fan. Oh, I see. Would you, um, if your Mets were playing like uh, a team and the Mets were, were underdogs and they had no chance of winning, but you can win a lot of money. Would you bet against your Mets? No, (laughs) I would totally bet against the Phillies if I was going to win a ton of money. No, can't do it. It's, uh, you're not, no, I can't do it. Too you. invested. I can't. Uh, I can't do it. But no, it's it's weird. It's so acceptable now to 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 bet on baseball. I mm-hmm. just can't bring myself to uh, get into. It. My brother does it all the time. Well, I I disagree. I feel like if you can win, why not? You know, Ooh, I don't know. A little dicey. It's five to two. Uh, top of the eighth. Yeah. Well, you know, you do what you got to do. But anyway, <laughs> we have some people in the room. Uh, let's say hi. We have uh, William and Christy. Uh, who else is here? Everybody turns. Wow, liked and shared. Thank you so much. Marcus is here. Brandon's here. Uh, Dan the Man is here. Trey's here. Uh, did I miss anybody? I uh, don't know. People are still coming in. Welcome, welcome on this uh, Thursday evening. Um, just decided to do a, a YouTube live because we haven't been on for a couple weeks. And um, we're going to make it a, an Eyes Up Here episode as well. So, uh, Chatster, when you're ready, why don't you intro us and uh, we'll get the ball rolling. Absolutely. Again, I'm not hey, watching the Mets on the side. Here, come so. on, be professional. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I was Your distracted. focus is right here. All right, here. Okay. Oh, so you want me to put the you want me to put the phone right here? I'll just watch it there. That's All right, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, this is Eyes Up Here, and you're watching a brand new Eyes Up Here on YouTube Live, as well as on the Creative Control Podcasting Network. If you didn't know by now, my name is Chad, and every single week I am joined here, of course, by the queen of extreme, Miss Francine. Francine, how are you doing tonight on this beautiful Thursday? It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful Thursday, a sad Thursday. Uh, I want to start off this show by... Dedicating it to Shannon Sproul. Um, today is the one-year anniversary of her death. Uh, woke up this morning, didn't even know what the date was, and then it hit me, and I was just depressed throughout the day. So I pulled out my Daphne mental health. If you guys can see, I'm wearing my uh, Nurse Daphne T-shirt in honor of uh, my uh, one of my besties, Shen, and. Um, I think about her every day, but today was hard. So, uh, you know, um, if you need help, please reach out. There is always someone who is willing to listen. And uh, that was, that's crazy that that was a year ago. Yeah. Went by very quickly. Yeah, absolutely did. So, uh, anyway, um, I said hi to a couple people. Uh, Vinny, longtime uh, Patreon member, is in the house. Hi, Vinny. Hi, Tim Man. Webb. Um, What's going on? Like, what? What should we start with? Uh, something that I found a little, a little disturbing. Um, but if you're <laughs> into it, it's cool. But uh, a little bit crazy. Uh, Matt Riddle is is no uh, stranger to controversy on uh, the internet. <laughs> have you seen what's going on with allegedly? Now we have to. 
We have to say allegedly in all these things, even though the girl had receipts. Did y'all see that? Matt Riddle. Anybody? It was crazy. That was crazy. It was a little crazy. <laughs> you know, um, I always say you, you can be into whatever you want. I don't care. Uh, but when it goes public, ah, oh, excuse me, um, Ted, all, is that how you say that? $10 super chat. We miss you, Daphne. Scream on, live loud. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, hey, Tim, uh, Tim, Ted, sorry. Uh, you're going to go in the Charles Chip jar. We have, you know, every, uh, before we even start with Matt Riddle, let's put that on hold for a second because that story's not going away anything. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. No, he, really he might, not. but, but, but um, the story's not. Ted, thank you for the super chat. Every five dollars, guys. We we do this all the time. You're you're helping out the channel. We we give gifts to say thank you. We're gonna do like a um a raffle. Yeah, I guess it's yeah, a raffle. We're gonna raffle. pick your yeah. email. I found today a gold mine, guys. Look look what I found today. Oh my gosh! These are all the originals, guys, and they're all intact. Um. I don't even think I ever used them, to be honest with you. I'm trying to read the titles. What did I say? So I, I have a lot of good ones. I have the Three Way Dance from 95. Oh. I have As Good As It Gets. Oh. Uh, Cyber Slam, which is a two disc set. Oh, hey now. Uh, let's see. House Party 99. Oh. That's oh, The Return of Public Enemy. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Oh, I, I, I'll tell you an interesting Public Enemy thing in a minute. All right. Hold on. I'm still going. Cyber yeah, yeah, Slam go, go, 96. Go. Uh, Heat Wave 96. Oh. The best of the BWO. Hey. Oh, here I am. I'm, I was crossing the line. Yes, you were. I don't remember what I did there, but I did something fun. Hostile City Showdown 96. A lot of 96 in here. Big Ass Extreme Bash. Some of these are two discers. And uh, that's because 96 heaven. was great. Hardcore Heaven 96 two disc. So what what we'll do is the winner's going to get their choice of one of these. But if people keep giving us super chats because they're in a festive mood, I'll just keep adding more DVDs. Mm. So if the money goes up, you get more, you know, you get more. Or maybe we'll pick two winners if there's a lot of money in the pot. Who knows? But all I know is Ted is getting two entries. So Ted. You got the ball rolling. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Tim would buy the collection if it was on eBay. Well, Tim, guess what? It's not on eBay. It's in my room. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you can you can win it by giving us a super chat. Um, uh, what are we talking about, Shane? Oh, come on, guys. Let's let's talk about Matt Riddle. Let's let's do that. Let, let me tell you my public enemy thing, really. Uh, oh, quick. yeah. Go ahead. So I was in uh, Strasburg, Virginia Strasburg. over the weekend. Okay. I was antiquing because antiquing and collectible hunting is the name of the game. I found an original WCW promo photo signed by both members of public enemy at yeah. one of these antique stores. I couldn't believe it. At an antique Gen store. Yep, genuine, as real as as you're gonna get, and public. I couldn't believe that public Nobody's enemy was in an antique store. I don't want to get into numbers. It was a very good deal. <laughs> really? Okay, Christy, ten dollars super chat. Thank you, sweetheart. You're going in the charge. It was jar. an insane deal, but I just thought you know, public enemy in Strasburg, Virginia, in an antique shop. Never in a million years expected to see that. Exactly. Thanks, doll. Good to see you. In here, Christy. My girl, side note suplex. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right. So keep the super chats coming in, guys. Support the channel. Win a prize. Anyway. Do you want me to bring them up on the screen? I do don't you... know. Do we do that? <laughs> Can we do that? Have you I mean, I heard? Have... <laughs> uh, if you... Well, maybe they haven't heard the story. Edward Lopez is in the house. Hi, Ed. How are you, doll? You know. You know the deal. You know, um, I saw this. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> sent it to me. Um, but I read it and I was just like, wow. 
some crazy stuff. And again, I don't care what you're into. You can do whatever you want. But the problem is these people are putting it up for everybody to see. And yeah. the girl was the girl tagged like Hunter and Stephanie yeah. and uh, I think yeah, Alexa Bliss for whatever reason. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't want to you have, you don't want to you don't want Alexa like, Bliss knowing your business. Yeah, I was like what what does Alexa Bliss have to get out of this? But um you know, it, it it just struck me like, wow, I, I feel like, I don't know, if you're going to be intimate with someone, like, they should at least have the common courtesy to keep it between the two of you. Yeah. What, why, I don't understand why she's posting it all over the world. Like, it, it's they weird. Have a fun, yeah. What it, happened? It's, was there an aftermath that I missed? It, no, it's not that there was an. I think everybody was just genuinely shocked that it was out. I mean, again, it's 2022, and everyone's a lot more progressively thinking in terms of the content of the message. Um, but still, I, I I can't stress this enough about wrestlers, baseball players, football players, basketball players, anyone in the public eye. You gotta realize. <laughs> These things, they hang around, and they anything you do. put out there will hang around. It's true, but why did the girl feel that she needed to go public with everything? Was there a falling out between them that I missed? That's what Had I'm saying. Be. No, that I don't know. I mean, who knows about I don't that? Know that because but. now she's tweeting everybody and their mother and showing us. Look what you know. Look what he wrote me. Look at this text message, and it's like, wow. I would think that would be sent to her in confidence. Like, oh, oh, well, we're not going to read. <laughs> we're not going to read it, but if you, I'll leave it on the screen if you want holy, to read it. <laughs> holy, this is, uh, now we, you know, this is all allegedly, I don't know if he really typed this. I don't know right. if this came from his phone. Who knows? I don't know who the girl is. I don't know what's going on, but he's making waves again. And this happened with somebody a while ago and then it all blew over and he's having a very good career and now this pops up and it's like wow you know uh, now do you think something like this is going to hurt him depends because i don't know i mean look seth rollins uh survived a pp pick a couple years ago you know if anybody remembers i mean it's I mean, like i don't know but this is this is the second public little thing to come out and be this like egregious <laughs> you know like i don't know this is this is tough i mean he's getting a big push too so maybe in the old regime they would have hit him i don't know i, I, I don't it's know like to what are they gonna tell him like be you know they they can't slap him on the wrist for being a freak <laughs> right you can't get over me um, no, I believe like he, he, he identifies as a slush from oh. uh, my reading that's what he calls I himself <laughs> I don't know. allegedly allegedly i just found this to be crazy i like again i don't you know you and, and you can do whatever you want with whomever you want it's your life like live your life you know live your best life you do be you safe. Boo. do you boo you be safe out there and you just do you but i just couldn't understand why the girl just put it all out there and then started tagging everybody and Alexa bliss. <laughs> imagine, he's, imagine he's in catering or something. And she walks by and she's just like, <laughs> shape, shape. can't believe <laughs> I had see, it. See, if anything, if this is legitimately him. Okay. And I'm sure WWE will have <laughs> some sort of investigation to figure out what was going on. What the, the bad part is, is the, the drug references that were uh, used in this that he could say whatever right. he wants about banging whoever in front of this person you want yeah. this that whatever but there if this is indeed him and they do an investigation and find that out there's references to doing drugs yeah <laughs> that's not gonna end well right that's crazy thank you ste jay i appreciate oh. that um yeah i just i you know i i woke up to that in my inbox and i was just like oh boy here we go again. So, I don't know. Kind of good crazy, point. But... Did you see this one? Uh, good point. How is Paige, How is it Paige was a victim when her pictures and videos came out 
and Riddle isn't. Don't care for the dude, but it's his personal life. No laws broken. Yeah, well, that that was my point. Like, what? Why? Why are we seeing this? Why? Right. The, why is the girl bitter? Why is this all over the news right now? You know, hi Dan, four ninety nine super chat. Thank you so much, Dan. You're going into the Charles chip jar, and we appreciate you and thank you uh, for your support. Let me ask you this. Yeah. And again, I'm not saying, just, would this be your biggest fear as an entertainer to have somebody ma possibly make up a story of this magnitude, painting you in a certain mm -hmm. way and using certain words to, to describe things that you would al allegedly say? Like, is that one of your biggest fears? Well, I mean, for me, when when I was young in the business and stuff, there, we didn't have the cell phones that had cameras and video. No one was like, if you wanted to record, you had to have your big ass VHS me, guys. camera that was this big. You had to hide it. I mean, it was a, it was a big to do. You know what I mean? Just go um, amongst yourselves. You're all good. Yeah. I, I'm not the type to say, Hey, let's tape let's you know let's record doing like that's i don't do that kind of stuff that's not me um so uh, yeah for somebody to fake a story because then the person has to go and like defend themselves and it, it's a mess you know but this girl seems to have receipts um but then again like then nowadays you can edit and photoshop and you can pretty much type whatever you want, wherever you want. So it's, it's tricky and it's either you believe the guy or you believe the girl, you know? So I, I don't know. I, like I said, I don't frown upon, like you do what you want to do. Um, but uh, my whole thing was why is she tagging uh, his place of employment and, yeah. you know, triple H and Stephanie McMahon and all these people and, I don't think she tagged Vince McMahon on this one. I don't think Vince, Vince McMahon. Vince, they go, uh, Vince McMahon liked this tweet. <laughs> oh my god! Um, on the on this uh, this person's profile, um, she she has like her list of things, and one of the things that she has in her bio is ex girlfriend of bro. Uh, is that him? That's Matt Riddle. That's his thing. Is bro? That's his thing. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah, I well, why do you not put that? I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, I I am. Uh, Dan says, didn't that happen to Enzo? Then he was fired, and then he wasn't guilty. Yes, Enzo was accused of something. Um, from what yeah, I recall, it's, but man, it's so crazy. I I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like, gosh, keep your shit personal. Just get, don't ugh, don't air dirty laundry. Yeah, it's a shame. I mean, again, he's in the middle of you know a, a, a huge push. You know, he's having probably one of the most successful stretches of his wrestling career. There's something and, you know again. This, it's just it's this thing. This is not like the portal of secrets. This thing can be accessed <laughs> by anybody, and once you send it out, that recipient can do one of two things delete it or not delete it yeah and in this instance any of that stuff i mean you know sometimes look i gotta delete messages to save space on on one of my phones right because it every two seconds i'm out of storage but i got nothing to hide you know i'm not uh doing anything tawdry yeah but you gotta realize that even if that person if matt riddle or allegedly matt riddle deleted it out of his phone the recipient still has it right right hi doug um uh, Shanghai Pierce says some stripper in Buffalo tried a money. Uh, I think he meant money grab from Enzo and wrecked his career. So it was a stripper in Buffalo. That's who it was. <laughs> According to Shanghai Pierce. I don't know who it was. Hi, Lon. How are you? You're not late. You're fine. Um, I haven't, you know, uh, I haven't seen Ric Flair's stuff yet. I, I I was supposed to watch that from the last time I ever did. 
Oh, How you never that? watched the match? No, I didn't watch it. How dare you? I was supposed to, and then I totally forgot. I've been doing other things. Um, Not watching uh, Ric Flair matches, apparently. No, I that need list. to. I need to watch that <laughs> show. I have it. I just haven't. Uh, I haven't sat down. Um, what? So, what do you think about Hunter taking over, and the numbers skyrocket? Kurt Angle's uh, gimmick was over two million. That was great. I, I watched the clips. It was very good. <laughs> so great, right? Yes, it was very good. So for a company that was drawing eight, nine hundred thousand, now we're over two million. It's a step in the right direction. This is good for for business. I think so too. Yeah, it's uh, it sounds like it's a shot in the arm that they needed. Um, I'd love to know what's going on from the writing standpoint, though. You know, like what's the filter now? Like if everything had to go through Vince. And there are tons of writers on staff. Is is Hunter the last person with the uh, you know the stamp, or is it everybody collaboratively working? It's got to be something to yeah. make that kind of a change, well, bringing people. And I, I have to say, they're on the rise when another company is a little bit in disarray right now. Uh, yeah, and we could talk about that as well. Uh, Avery, hi, Sam, hi, Angela's here. Hello, hello. Um, I feel like you know Braun Strowman just re-signed with the company. I feel like all these people who Vince was just like, eh, and Hunter was like, rah, 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 they're coming back and they're going to get pushed to the moon because these are the people that fans want to see, Yeah, you know? And if Hunter uses them the right way, I can see the numbers continuously going up. And that's great. Whether you hate, WWE or whatever. I mean, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of WWE right now, but it's good for business. It's it collectively the numbers going up means more fans are going to watch. You know, yeah. not only WWE but AEW. I, I, there's something off in that company right now. Yeah. What is happening? It's it's like WCW itis. It's what it feels like because it, we we. Every show talked about this. Every talking head in wrestling podcasting talked about it. It seemed like there was just too many cooks in the kitchen, right? At one point, mm -hmm. but it seems like a lot of decisions that are, are being made are just not going over well. And yeah. it's like, I mean, I know they've been around for about three years, but it seems like they're, they're at a company that hits like that 10 year mark and starts to implode. I mean, it seems like things are falling off the rails and it's, it's not looking good. You know, guys asking for releases, releases, Great. people faking injuries. So they don't have to drop belts is what I'm reading. The uh, Thunder Rosa allegedly uh, broke a girl's nose, hid in the bathroom is what I'm saying. And now she doesn't want to defend her belt. So she says she's hurt. People are saying she's not hurt. Where's the heat? What's going on? <laughs> it's disarray in that locker room. Uh, Lob Mob, hi, thank you so much. Chimmy Chong is here. Hello, hello. Um, I, I'm reading all these crazy stories. Punk is pissed off. Uh, yep. who was it? Adam Cole, um, uh, Cole Cabana and Punk's uh, uh, massive fallout has well, really taken a bit, yeah, because Cole, I guess, was kind of take uh, taking up for Cole Cabana. Oh, and, okay, okay, yes, that's where that all came from. Oh, wow, so cr everybody's like fighting backstage and they're taking it's wcw it's this is wcw it's so weird. like what is i don't know i thought i thought this business was kind of a work everybody's uh taking shots at everybody on the mic and holy crap and in here is tony khan doing anything what's he doing is he just i don't know back? Yeah, I mean, they had this. Uh, have you heard about the talent meeting from a few weeks ago? I heard, but I didn't. I didn't read into it. I just yeah. heard that there was one. It just seemed that, from what I had heard and read, is that it just did not go over well. And uh, everybody, they tried to do it to kind of boost morale, and they kind of, you know, wanted a uh, little like let's write the ship thing. But you know, the way I, I interpreted it was that you know, like Kenny Omega did not come off very well to the group, and Tony mm -hmm. just kind of it just reiterated a lot of the same stuff that they had said originally, but it's just not sinking. It's not developing onto television the right way. I don't know. It's, it's, it's not good because they were supposed to change it. And it's funny how WWE has turned it around and, and people are gravitating to it. And WWE gets all the mainstream attention because of that. 
Yeah, it's it's so crazy. Hi, Dion. How are you? Uh, Solid Snake Jake, how are you? Um, like I said, any success in any of these companies is 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 great for the wrestling business. You know, I thought the way that they have ROH now as like a second company, I thought that was going to take off and and be something bigger than it is. And they did that one pay per view, and now like what nothing, nothing, you know, and it's like kind of fizzled out, and it's. I don't know. I saw something with Billy Corrigan. NWA is doing pretty well. Why aren't they on television? It's doing well, but the shows are not well attended. It's a very core group it's a of small people. Venue. It's a small venue, but they're still they're they're not. It's not that well attended. I think more people go for the meet and greet aspect of it than the actual show. Our uh, good buddy Mike Durban was there uh, this past weekend, uh, taking some dynamite photos um, at ringside and. Uh, just doesn't seem like there's a lot of people interested, but he's got a plan. He wants to be around for 20 years or something and wants to continue to grow the NWA. I, okay. I the, the thing about AEW, and again, like I was going to say, it's WCW 2.0. When you were in ECW, okay, and the two companies were in the middle of the war, right? WCW was the one with the biggest kind of like cracks in the armor. What did an outsider in the business think about all the shit that they heard coming out of WCW? I just, I was a fan of, of both at the time. So anytime we heard of disarray, we were like, okay, well, what can we do to surpass? <laughs> right. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Better? Right. Yeah. To become better. We knew we weren't going to catch up to WWF. There was no way, but I mean, WCW, we were like eh, teeter totter. So we were like, okay, what can we do at this point to maybe move up a couple notches or, and that's what Hunter's doing because mm -hmm. it's not a direct war and Hunter's seeing this company faltering. He goes, what can we do? You know what? We dropped the ball with a guy like Braun Strowman. He was yeah. supposed to be the next monster. Let's bring him back. Yeah. And, and all of these doing. characters are going to be uh, hopefully different than the first incarnation that, or, or, you know, or go back to what worked and not what they had become towards the end. Yeah, you know, because people people want to see the original killers and not not what Vince turned them into. So it's going to be interesting to see who resigns and who comes back and who gets over, and it's going to make it fun to watch. You know, yeah. I think fans are going to really enjoy it. I could see the number going up to like a three point five within the next maybe six months. Let's see. Yeah, I hope it does. I, I just hope the business starts to bounce back a little bit. It's just so sad because over the last 20 years, it's just declined, you know? Yeah, the and, stuff and I've you, been watching, you yearn for it. Yeah, like you see all these people that come to the, like the gathering was packed, packed with wrestling fans. And not one of them were telling me, oh yeah, I love today's product. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, who's watching? So it's good that the numbers. I'm I'm happy that the numbers are going up. Yeah, that, and that's always it, it's best for business when yes. the numbers uh, continue to go up. Once that belt gets on uh, Killer Cross, everybody will be in the right direction because you think he's getting dude, heavyweight belt. Oh, that dude is money, and he is he's going to be the next big, huge WWE breakout right. star. I mean, my, he's got. I mean, he's got it all. He work in the ring. He's great, uh, creative, he's a good actor. I mean, he's got it all. And you know what's nice that that uh, WWE is letting everybody finish out their obligations that they had yes, signed. Indeed. Yeah, correct. Because before you couldn't do that; it was just like everybody was getting pulled left and right. But now they can't wrestle, but they can do their their autograph signing. So I think that's very uh, very nice of them to let them. Finish yeah, out. I saw Johnny Gargano, who's back. I saw he's advertised for signing in November. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was booked like two months ago. So that yeah, is very well, cool. Uh, Cross and Scarlet are coming to yeah. WrestleCade, oh, which I just got WrestleCade. Uh, which yes, I, I just, uh, I, I'll be at WrestleCade this I year. I saw that you. very nice. You in North uh, Carolina? Mm, I don't know. We, uh, the the, the Kekalakis love me. I, 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 I love Carolina. them. Yeah, I love them. That's it's great. Was um, that a good, was that a stop for you guys? Did you go through North Carolina? Yeah. Yep. Where'd you go, Charlotte? I don't know. I'd have to. Uh, I have to look at my passport and see. Yeah, yeah. we'll go through uh, once we hit a, a house show on a watch along. We'll, that's uh, when I'll remember. Like, oh, that's right. I was there. I was in Fayetteville. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Jet says, "Have you watched NJPW or Stardom?" 
Right. I've watched NJPW before, not stardom. Uh, he's been more invested in what those promotions have to offer than AEW. Or I watched. I was. I was very into New Japan about probably about ten years ago, mm-hmm. and from what I've seen, it's the same guys on top and the same matches, the same outcomes. So, kind of mm-hmm. not can't keep my interest. Uh, William Hennessy is chanting EC Dub. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I hear it um, in my head. Yeah, I hear it all the time. Uh, so what else is uh, what else is going on in this it's world? A, there's a ton. I mean, there's, uh, there's a lot of stuff. There's uh, you know a little bit of this and a little bit of that. We'll pick something. <laughs> to... I you know I know I want to let's stick with that, that that AEW topic though for a second because there's a few other things that I don't get about it. Right? Everybody talks about where the hell is MJF? Right? MJF has been MIA on the back of a milk carton. Yeah. For uh, three, four months, you know, uh, you still see like, oh, I know the big one. How about the uh, Sammy Guevara and Eddie Kingston issue? Did you see that? No, I did not. What's going on? So there was a an instance. Oh, uh, time um, out. Lon. Oh. Lon with $5 Super Chat. I'm sorry. We have we have to put Lon over. All right, please. Uh, hi, Fabulous Francine and Chad. Great to talk with you tonight. Which city do you wish ECW did a pay-per-view in? Las Vegas. Oh, that would have been stellar, Lon. I would have loved to have done something in Sin City. But alas, we never did. Oh, you got a creative uh, Paul Heyman ECW Las vegas title for the show, too. I would have came out with the feathers like a showgirl. Oh. Like, da, 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 da. <laughs> so great. Lon, you're going into chip jar, honey. Thank you for the super chat. Um, go ahead. I'm sorry, Sammy and uh, Sammy on uh, AWTV. Uh, yeah. was doing a promo to promote the match that he was going to have with Eddie Kingston at the pay per view. Called Eddie a fat piece of shit, right? Oh, Eddie. Then in his response, because he was responding on the uh, the video board, made reference to body shaming and that um, uh, Sammy was body shaming um, Eddie. Um, right. so. <laughs> Apparently, they got into a little uh, 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 issue backstage. Eddie went to pie face him and has been suspended from AEW for two oh, weeks. Shoot. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, the uh, the great Disco Inferno uh, took to oh. Twitter to comment <laughs> on it. And uh, Eddie Kingston wrote a very derogatory, disrespectful comment to uh, Mr. Gilberti. Uh, which just proved, you know, this body shaming thing. You can't say that on wrestling. Come on. It's ridiculous. What? Say, uh, yeah, to say you were body shamed by he's the baby oh, face, isn't he? <laughs> I don't know. Know. So so you're you're taking up for Sammy in this instance. I'm I take up for neither guy, but it's ridiculous. I, you know what? Yeah, I'll go with Sammy because who cares? It's a was wrestling said, promo. Oh, I, I'm saying, was this said uh in the ring? This was said in the ring. Mm-hmm. Do you know how many names I have been called in the ring? They and chanted names at you. <laughs> that are worse than than that. And um, unless, you know, maybe Sammy called them fat otherwise. I don't know. But I didn't know guys felt this way. I thought that was a girl thing. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's why it's funny that when, when Disco made his comment on Twitter and Eddie responded to it, you know, uh, basically – uh, Disco was like, don't be soft, you know, don't like what's with the body shaming comment, like, we're, you know, get in the do the work, get in shape, don't be so sensitive. Uh, uh-huh. The claim was that uh, they did not go over that in the back, uh, that he was allowed to say that about him. And it's like, come on, it's like, it's still pro wrestling. Yeah. It's still when we walk through those ropes, we're, we're you know, we're, we're trying to put on a good show. Yes, maybe it was crossing the line uh, in, in an insensitive way to the person, but not to Eddie Kingston, the character, you know, I, that, I have never in my life got offended by anything that people said in the ring. Now, if it was said in the back, you know, when we weren't in character, then I would maybe cry. Exactly. Uh, yeah. That's, that's a different like, story. But then, then Eddie, you know, got pissed and pie faced them or attempted to pie face him. Wow. And he got himself suspended. So gotcha. yeah. Well, you know, I think he's lucky to be there because I and personally, and this is the Chadster's feeling. I don't even think he should be in AEW. He's not a mainstream guy. He's an indie guy. Well, you got to start somewhere. Uh, no, he, he's 40 years old. There's a reason that he was never signed to a major company. <laughs> DDP was like 36 when he. Uh, different. DDP. This, pay, di- di- no, I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> Chad, how many belts have you won? 
I okay. haven't won any. I didn't train to be a wrestler. That's good. Creative, I, I, creatively. I agree with you on that. I don't think he's too, I don't think 40's too old to be performing. I didn't say it, that he's too old to be performing. What I'm saying is, is that there was a re I think that seeing him as a performer, there's a reason why he was never signed to a major organization prior. And why do you think he's signed now? Because or that's what AEW does. AEW is, is you, this. You don't. Okay, so you don't. AEW is this destination for counter programming. As so you're saying, you're wrestling. basically saying AEW will sign anybody. I'm saying that AEW has no rhyme or reason to who they're signing for sure. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, we can we can agree to disagree. We can, we can. if we Absolutely. agreed on everything. This would be a very boring show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you started talking about MJF. Um, I heard that he was out with an injury. Oh, I did not hear that. But I don't know how true that is. He had to get something done. And they, I mean, that makes sense if he's gone for this long, because I mean, you don't take a heel like that off your TV. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm correct. This is, you know, you hear things and I just take everything with a grain of salt because it's, listen, it's not keeping me up at night. Why MGF's, MJF's not on my television. <laughs> I just happened, somebody had told me, I forget who, one of the boys had said, oh, I think he he had to get some kind of surgery or something. But I'm like, well, wouldn't that have been all over unless they were keeping it a secret? Right. I don't know. Now, just to go back to what you said before, I have heard that the Thunder Rosa. Oh, uh, yeah. I heard that the, the injury was legitimate, that it was a torn ACL. It is. Okay. Now yeah. my, I, I hate to, my sources, your sources, <laughs> my little circle was saying that she didn't want to drop her belt or what was, she didn't want to face so-and-so. So she was, I, can see that. I don't know her. She's got a lot of heat. She's yes, got a lot of people does. coming at her. I don't, yeah. I, I don't know. We follow each other on Twitter, but I, I've never met the girl. Um, but she, yeah, she's, she's got a lot of people coming for her. So I, I, who knows? You know, the only person who knows the truth is her. That's very true. I have, I have a question here. Is okay. This, this topic, William Hensey, Chad, you look like a gamer broski. Come on every title, right, Chad? I don't get the, what's a gamer broski? I don't know. Well, I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what a gamer broski is. Is that somebody who's a gamer that, is it like a dude? Uh, I don't get it. I don't know. Uh, Fork in the Road says, I look like Mickey James and Lisa Marie Veron, I think you mean. And that is amazing. Yes, I, I morphed them together. And, and this is what I came up with. <laughs> I'm using a face changer right now. Uh, hey, Hans, how are you? Um, Chad is a buff Bagwell impersonator with his mustache. Oh, my. <laughs> look at all the love Chad tonight. <laughs> Oh my That's god, I never thought I'd be compared to Buff. So Buff Bagwell is in rehab. Yeah. I'm glad he mentioned that. Um uh, went away to rehab. DDP puts this heartwarming, heartfelt message up uh explaining, you know, what's going on with him. Uh you said for months that that wasn't him tweeting. We did we ever find out if it was? Were we It was not. It was not. Okay. No. All right then. Well, there was supposed to be a um, American Males reunion. Yes, I saw that. So I don't know how long re rehab's usually like thirty days, unless you want to stay longer. I wonder. Was that at Wrestlecade? Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, if I he's think he'll make, make it. That. You think, I think so? That, yeah, I think that he'll make absolutely. Okay, um, I hope so. Uh, hi, Dartsman. How are you, hun? Um, yeah, interesting because they have. I don't think they've done anything him and Scotty Riggs no, together in a haven't. really long no. time. Mm -mm. So that should be fun. Um, yeah, that's the other story. I I was like, oh yeah, buff. Forgot about that. <laughs> Chad Bagwell. I, I I I that is that tickles me just based off of uh, <laughs> the yeah, track record right? with the, with the buffster. <laughs> I don't know, but uh. Oh, Matt Guy, I'm so sorry. American Male Song's going to be stuck in your head. Yeah, that's sorry. It was a good song. I liked it. Yeah, I like the American Males. They were fun. Yeah, we had Scotty on. That was great. You uh, you played the American Males theme. <laughs> <laughs> on my phone. 
<laughs> oh god, I love Scotty Riggs. He's, he's a funny dude. He is just he's hilarious. Yeah, he's a good dude. Um, so what else is happening? I'm off this weekend, which I'm I'm happy about. Uh, nice. Labor Day. You have any plans? Uh, yes, I do. Do uh, you? Yes, I will be uh, enjoying a nice quiet day with the wife. Uh, she's got off uh, Friday, uh, which is wonderful. So a nice quiet day uh, with her. Where are the and children? Then, uh, children will be in school. The two different oh, school districts okay. have different days off. So mm. uh, nice day Friday. And then, you know, some uh, power washing on Saturday, yard work, the whole nine yards. Fine. Okay. Oh, I can't wait. The cat. Oh, the cat. So this cat was oh, made for cat. the cat. <laughs> What's the cat's name again? Moonshine Pickle Seymour. Frankie, Frankie Noodles Lindor Kitty. Yeah, makes sense. She okay. is perfectly made for this house. Plus the cat watches baseball, which is unbelievable. Have you touched her yet? I have had to touch her a few times. Yes. Now, is it is it gentle, loving petting or is it get off me? Now, I, I give her a mad face. Like I put my finger on her her forehead and i give her i make her do that oh that's not nice you gotta love her well who Correct. do you think she loves the most gotta pet the pussy love well, yeah. her. who Correct. do you think she loves the most she follows me around everywhere yeah I'm because you're day. because you're not giving her love back she's trying to win your affection. Every, every time i walk upstairs in the middle of doing something i go she goes, follows me around <laughs> brie's probably up her ass the most right she does not like brie because she doesn't Brie, like seeing Brie loves her the most. Brie, Brie manhandles her. That's why. Oh, Maddie is the the animal whisperer. She actually she stays <laughs> in Maddie's room at uh, at night. But Brie Brie is holding her like this, and, and oh. the cat wants no part of her. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I I tried to get a pet again. Um, Present it. Had a whiteboard. All the pros. Oh wow! Look at you. No, I didn't. That <laughs> shut up. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Hus the husband just sat there with this stone face and did this the whole time. <laughs> it's like, oh, no go. So no pet. How uh, how has your um, like regular summer activities been? Have you started up school again? With the, we did. Uh, with the we kids? started this Monday, and uh, <laughs> I know the kids were not happy. <laughs> we were going to wait. So here's what happened. We were going to, we usually wait till after Labor Day because that's what we always did. Uh, but we added an extra day to Disney. So we're doing 16 days <laughs> every year. Wow. We're just adding more. <laughs> when does it become I, residency? <laughs> that's what I, that's what I'm aiming for. Um, but, you know, we lose a lot of time when we're there because we don't make them work. You know, so we figured, well, let's do a week ahead of time. And then that way we don't have to lose that much time or, or extend into summer with classes. Um, so we started them, you know, this Monday. And uh, my daughter, uh, she's not loving it. My son likes school, but she's not into it. So, uh, you know, she does it, but she's not happy about it. Um but yeah, so but we booked, we did book Disney, so we're all booked and uh, ready to go. Yeah, we're excited, and um, I'm doing my uh, investigation, and I'm I'm trying to get uh, new restaurants down, and I'm ex I'm so excited. The planning makes me excited. Yeah, hopefully the uh, the the one news piece will not come across your wire, and that will be Disney increases prices. <laughs> oh well, I mean yeah, they yeah. can. <laughs> we're we're locked in on the hotel, so they can't increase that because we're locked in. But um, they probably will. They always do. We looked into doing a, a little bit of Universal. We were going to mm -hmm. switch it up a little bit. Um, but for two days, it just didn't seem worth it. And like the, you had to do like a four pack or more to like get a discount or something. And we were only going to do two and you can't really do both parks in two days. There's too much to do. So I said, let's just wait until we can just go there for like a week and experience everything like a side trip besides Disney. Uh, so we're doing 10 days at the parks this time. We added an extra day. Uh, so I think we're going to do an extra Epcot day. Nice. Yeah. Cause we really like Epcot and, uh, so that, that'll bring the grand total of days at Epcot to what, nine during this trip? <laughs> no, three. <laughs> I think we're doing four 
four days at Magic Kingdom, three days at Epcot, that's seven, two Hollywood Studios and one Animal Kingdom because Animal Kingdom really has nothing. Like we were going to skip it entirely, but my right. daughter loves Ent uh, Expedition Everest. That's she loves that roller coaster. So we're just going to do one day there. What about like the water parks? Anything like that? It's Blizzard not Beach or whatever the hell it is. Hot when we go. Oh, okay. So it's you know it's really not. It's really sometimes they're even closed because it's too cold. You know there. I remember trips we were in jeans and, and hoodies. So it kind of depends. Like last year was nice. It was seventy five eighty. You know that's perfect weather for me. Not too hot. Not too cold. But, Oof, not when I was there. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, it was like 96 <laughs> degrees when you were there. Oh, that was so bad. I mean, like that two to two o'clock to like five o'clock was like yeah. you walked through Brutal. hell. <laughs> Brutal. Yeah. It was so thick you could cut it with a knife. Right, right. So um we're gonna try. I think we're gonna do a character meal. We're gonna do Hollywood and Vine again because the buffets are back. And we watched a video and the food looked really, really good. And we're going to try that buffet. And uh, I don't know. I have a folder with everything written down. Um, dining starts at 5.45 a.m. to get reservations. So now I have to oh, set my oh. alarm for 5.45 <laughs> to get on my phone to try and get those reservations when okay. it gets closer. So there's a lot of stuff that I need to do. Hmm. But I'm excited. I like it. I enjoy it. So it's 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 OK. Um, there was a question that went by from Dartsman asking, did you enjoy working with jazz? Oh, God, yes. I just I talked to jazz a couple of weeks ago. She's a doll and a, a good friend. And, and I love her and I love her husband. And uh, she's got two beautiful twins, little girls that are training. And um, she's amazing. A lot, a lot of fun working with jazz. So even when she calls you a douchebag, douche, Francine, you are nothing but a douchebag. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I still and see, she called me a douchebag. I didn't take offense to that. That was that was offensive. I didn't pie face her in the back and say, "What well, did you call me a douchebag?" <laughs> that was very offensive. I I'm offended for you. Yes, that's how offended I'm offended. Um, by Hans, I I cannot do cruises because I get sick. The water would. Uh, make me a little seasick so no cruises are not my forte have you ever uh, been on one no so you just don't you won't do it at all i've been on you? boats i've been on boats have you been on a yacht a um have i been on a yacht i've been i don't think it was a yacht no but like a bit a good sized boat but if the water gets too rough i'm gonna lose my lunch so <laughs> Um, I, I'm told that the waters can be very rough on these cruises. And they say, if you, you know, you have to take a lot of Dramamine, uh -huh. but we're park people. Like we don't want to do the cruise and then not be able to go to the parks. You know what I mean? Like right. if I want to go to the Bahamas, I'm just going to go to the Bahamas. I'm not going to take a cruise to deep deport and just walk through the Bahamas for a day. I'm going to go sit my ass on a beach for a week you know what i mean i don't want to be on a boat cruising is not my thing i didn't like the small room oh I yeah we're very yeah. yeah i didn't like the small room uh the shower was like too small like that i, I didn't like it and my and the, you know me <laughs> uh, you're one of the people i could say who knows me very well to know that my least favorite thing is being around other people <laughs> and when you have to sit <laughs> at the dinner with random strangers and yeah. like you're forced into conversation. Oh my God, did I hate that part? That was that's the worst hilarious. part of it for me. And that's why I, I will probably never go on a cruise again because I don't want to be in that uncomfortable situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I watch cru I, the cruise videos. I do. Um, and they look fun. Like the, the food looks great. I like the fact that you could just go and keep eating whatever you want. And because I'm a foodie. Um, you're a foodie. Yeah, but the I, I can't take the waters. Um, they're a little rough. But guys, uh, I want to push the super chats again. I have all these for sale or for, for prizes. Um, so many ECW uh, two disc sets that can be signed and personalized. The winner will get to pick something. And uh, we'll send it out fine to you. Who so still watches DVDs or still who still collects? I still buy VHS tapes. Yeah, VHS. I still buy VHS. Yeah, I buy them all the time. Wow, 
That's amazing. I love them. I just, I, I still love them. And if I don't have it, I want to add it to my collection. Yeah. Well, I have a big um, DVD collection. So uh, if anybody's interested, we have so many of these cool shows that you might have never seen um, and that you want to. So $5 super chat gets you into the Charlie Chip jar. Just wanted to put that out there because we only have about 15 minutes left. This hour it, went uh, by. It, it flew by. Uh, Tim Tim Webb, I'll buy them all for thirteen dollars shipped. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, Tim. Really, that's really, really funny. That's that's like uh, not enough money. But <laughs> thanks. You can give us thirteen dollars and try to win one. Oh, that's a great. Like. That'll get you two entries. <laughs> that's two entries. Absolutely. Um, what else should we talk about? Patreon this week. Absolutely. Yeah. See what we're doing. Well, I would love to see what we're doing. What, can you tell me what we're doing? Well, I think one of the videos is from the gathering, is it not? It would be, yes. Gathering. Uh, I, I did my vlogging. You recorded a ton of footage at the gathering. I'm super at that. <laughs> uh, which was very, uh, it was very entertaining. Uh, the crowd was just as impressive as you had made it out to be. Uh, right. I wasn't lying. No, it was uh, not overstated in a in a wrestler capacity. Sometimes wrestlers tend to uh, conflate exaggerate. and 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 exaggerate yeah. numbers. This one, you and it was great because you kept remarking you're like this crowd is great. It was like it was every every time you turned the camera around, it was just loads and loads of people, and that's got to make your time fly by. It was overwhelming. At, uh, because I would I would show the crowd and then I would put the camera down and sign for a while and then like I'm like oh let me vlog a little and I pick it up and the line still looked the same as it did like 15 20 minutes ago it mm -hmm. was there were so many people there it was such a great show such a great show so I I tried to uh, capture that and um, get a little bit of everything on there so I hope you guys enjoy that. We're going to take a mystery quiz. I'm not telling you what it is until we oh, get there. Oh, you're ready for your mystery quiz. <laughs> mystery quiz. Uh, okay. play, play games, quizzes, stuff like that. Yeah. And for our watch along, okay, mm. this is – I've never seen this match before. It's a Ooh. house show match. Did you watch it already? I, I I skimmed it just to make sure it was it was good, you know, and it has a great spot at the end with with you and a good friend of yours. <laughs> oh no! I, I lo it was very it was it was funny to see. Just incredible. Oh, Jerry Lynn versus Jerry Lynn, which you put those two in a ring, and it was always a phenomenal match. This is Magic. on a house show. Um, I love the I saw the finish. The finish is awesome. I loved it. Okay, absolutely good. loved it, and. There is a great part at the end with your involvement. Awesome. And I talked to Jerry this week. He gave me a call from uh, the airport on his way to AEW. Um, okay. And he's doing well. Uh, Dan the Man, uh, $5 super chat. Francine is awesome. Meeting you at the gathering was fun. Dan was there. Enjoy Disney. What is your favorite ride at Epcot? Dan, it was great to meet you as well. We didn't get a chance to talk for too long, but uh, it was nice. As soon as he walked up, I was like, hey, it's Dan the Man. Because I, I know him from... <laughs> Well, I know him from Twitter, so uh, thanks for coming out to see Shane and I. Uh, favorite ride at Epcot? Gosh, I the, you know I love Frozen, I love Spaceship Earth. Um, dang, it's probably between those two. I don't know. I like I I think it's a toss up between those two. But Dan's going in the chip jar. What about Figment? <laughs> That's not my favorite ride. Th I that love ride. Is relaxing, but I feel like it needs like a, a complete makeover, you know, like they need to add stuff to it. Hello, everything pro wrestling. Welcome in. I feel um, like it could be one of those that makes it to the chopping block soon. <laughs> or, or do something fun. Like when they had the, um, the first, uh, have you seen it when it was just opened? Yes. It was amazing. And then yeah. they took all of that stuff out and now it's Look just it like, uh, Yeah. And the, the references are so dated because none of these kids have seen Flubber or Honey, yeah. I Shrunk the Kids. Right. <laughs> or whatever the other one. Nobody's seen them, so they don't get the references. It's uh, I know. I love I know. it, though. One of my favorites. Yeah. Well, guess what? I'll, I'll go on any ride that they have because just being there is magical for me. So, uh, But thank you for the super chat, Dan. We appreciate that. Um, okay, so we did, uh, uh, we did the three... We did a yes, we did a watch along. We did a quiz, and then we're doing the gathering. Sounds I like can't wait to watch this match with you because uh, it's a I'm, damn good I'm, match. 
I'm trying to think what it was. I don't remember. I mean, I it's remember a, working with Jerry. I'll tell you exactly what I believe it's somewhere in Florida, perhaps mm. Pensacola, maybe. Oh. You remember running Pensacola with the 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 crew I remember, of the extreme? Well, Pensacola is where Sandman was naked and he put his penis on my shoulder and I refused to turn around. Uh, Vinny, uh, excuse me, $10 super chat. Uh, wishing you a wonderful holiday weekend. Oh. Had a great time at Disney. Awesome. Frozen and Flight of Passage were fantastic. Flight of Passage makes me sick. You believe that? I, uh, I it's could. It's a beautiful ride. Uh, but thank you, Vinny. You're going in the chip jar. Um, Flight of Passage is probably one of the best rides that they have. Um, that's at uh, Animal Kingdom, though. That's not at Epcot. That's Avatar. Um, but that is a good ride. And it it, it, it was, by the way, it was Pensacola. Six. Okay. Uh, so, June third, two thousand. So Pensacola is the uh, DVD that I already gave away. Somebody won it, but it's on the DVD. It says Sandman gets naked. <laughs> That's how they sold the DVD. And he was drunk. He was so drunk that I remember I was sitting in a chair like this and I was talking to whoever was listening or whatever. And he's going, yo, girl, yo, blah, blah. And I feel something. And I'm like, are you naked? I wouldn't turn around. And he just starts cracking up. And I go, I know your penis is on my shoulder. I go, get it off. <laughs> Just get it off right now. And everybody's dying. And he just took it off and walked away. So, um, oh, that's it. What it says the description this is the show. The description is ECW 63 2000, Pensacola, Florida, Sandman Naked. Sandman gets naked. I told you. It's that's how they branded that video. Hans, $5 super chat. Who do you think is the future potential for women's wrestlers? I'm a Bliss. I know you're a Bliss fan. You still think she can carry the ball as champ. I think Alexa Bliss is, and I've been saying this for years, she's like one of those all-around performers. Like, she could do everything. I feel like she should be in movies, though. I feel like she should be yeah. an actress more so than a wrestler. I she's agree. a great talent in the ring, don't get me wrong. But I really feel like she can transfer like The Rock did, and she could be, like, really big in Hollywood. But yes. she's super cute. Um, so I am a a, a big fan of hers um as well as you hans so thank you for the five dollars hans is in uh the vlog from ohio hans yes i met him and his from lovely mother right one of them uh he came to um uh ohio, cleveland uh oh. not cleveland niles niles, niles. yes right. he came to before the uh the uh storm hit me and uh the the tent started great. falling <laughs> right before <laughs> Can I just, you know, for, can I wet the whistle of the ECW fan and read you the card? I know I usually do yeah, this sure. in the watch along, but just for the people watching this, here's the card. 6-3-2000. Sean Stocker versus Jorge Estrada. Simon Diamond and Swinger versus Doreen and Roadkill. Kid Cash versus Chaz Taylor. Nova and Chetty versus the Dangerous Alliance. Chaz Chris Taylor. That's that guy. Which one? Um... Uh that's tugboat oh talk. that's right oh my <laughs> god there he is oh there he is. wow that's unbelievable <laughs> all these months later <laughs> on pensacola damn there he I'm is sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, Ham uh chris hamburg versus chili willy <laughs> baldies versus whipwreck and uh balls mahoney P uh just incredible versus jerry lynn <laughs> rob van dam versus little guido and the main event I'm Steve dying. Carino, Jack Victory, Rhino, and Scotty Anton versus oh. Sandman Raven, Tommy Dreamer, and Tajiri. That was the biggest cluster because Hack was so drunk. He was so drunk. I watched Pulled that. His pants <laughs> down, got completely naked. Dreamer was legit mad. Like people were pissed off. Uh, it, people were screaming. It was so. I was watching through the curtain. I was dying. I couldn't stop. It was just too good. So if, if anybody can get your hands on that, I wish I had a copy, but I gave it away. Somebody picked it as a giveaway one night and um, yeah, it's gone, but that was a good one. So anyway, um, should I, should I choose a winner? Let's do it. And this, uh, cause we got to do the rest of the uh, watch alongs, right? Here's the Charles Star, baby. I'm going to pick a winner. 
because they have to pick a pick a prize here. The winner is I'm shuffling. I pulled it. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, He's in the room. It? Oh. Who is it? Ted. He's the first one who who uh Ted. Ted $10 super chat earlier. Ted, are you still here? We're not having luck with our <laughs> dude. You got yeah, you get in, you gotta stay in. You're Ted? you're locked in. Ted, where you at? I'm scrolling oh, up. Is he gone? Let's give him a minute and see if he pops up. Ted! Oh, good Lord. Let's see. Well, I'm trying to find him on the list here. Let's I do not stream on Twitch. No, I'm only on yeah, YouTube. Ted, Ted Ott. Yeah. He said, he, we will he, miss he, you, Daphne. Scream on, live loud. That's right. He was the first person to give his super chat. He gave 10 bucks. Ted, you're not in the room. Oh, my God. Do I repick? Or I do mean, I, you know. Or do I just wait? It's Maybe he'll watch. What, well, what I mean, <laughs> we what said that do? the last time. <laughs> what do we do? Chad, start telling you right now. Okay. I'm going to tell you where you can email Ted if you. Uh, Ted. Oh, I dare you. Screen here. There he is. Ted. Oh, Ted, you. Right in the nick of time. You I'm gonna it, still put this up Ted, listen to me. Which uh, which DVD would you like? There's only 12 to choose from. <laughs> Look, I'm going to do this. Give him a minute. Ted, do you. Oh, God. Am I focused? You're focused. All right. Ted. Look at that. Oh, they stick out. BWO, Cyber Slam, Three Way Dance. Come on, Ted. Pick one, babe. Ted, the whole room's looking at you right now, buddy. <laughs> Ted, we're all staring at you. <laughs> Woo! Lights are on, but nobody's home. Now he's looking. I'm sure he's. Well, it's a, it's a big decision. <laughs> And I'll sign it. Me, you want me to pick one? All right, I'll pick Ooh. one for you. Ooh. I'll pick one. Okay, Ted, I'll pick one. I'll sign it. I'll personalize it. Um, you need to email Chad. Yes. With your address, and we'll get it out to you. Right there. Uh, yeah, you got it, Ted. I don't have the naked Sandman. <laughs> that one I do not have, but I'll pick another one for Ted. <laughs> All right, you email email IB exclusives, Ted, with your address, and then we'll get it out to you probably next week sometime. Okay, hon? P uh, please, she... please email us. <laughs> please. <Yeah. laughs> That's... Oh, he says he's a Patreon member. Can I email oh, you? Oh, perfect. Uh, yeah. just email us somewhere, Ted. Make sure we get an address somewhere. Yeah, message through and, uh, Patreon. Yeah, do do that, and we'll we'll get this out to you. And I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody's super chats. You're helping the channel. Um, I hope everybody has a uh, great Labor Day. I hope you're all uh, doing something fun or you're relaxing, having a good time. And um, we'll probably be back in a couple weeks. What yeah, do you think? absolutely. I love Sound doing good? these. Yeah, these are, uh, to me, they're more, they're a little more fun because it's rapid fire and questions are always great. Make the time go by. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. All right. We'll we'll do one hopefully sooner than pick it now. Pick the DVD. Uh, Eyes closed. I uh, okay. No, not that one. <laughs> I picked this one. There you go. Ryan Pillman. Oh. Wow. I closed my eyes and I pulled it for you, Ted. This is what you're getting, buddy. Oh, that's a good Harvest one. Ninety six. This is yeah. This is a good one. So, that's the um, that's the infamous Brian Pillman incident. Mm-hmm. Oh, we Francine and, wait, Francine and the Pitbulls versus Stevie Richard and the Eliminators in the triple dog collar match. We watched that too. <laughs> awesome. All right, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh guys, appreciate you. God bless. Have a great one. Uh maybe we'll be back shorter than we, two. Weeks. We didn't do plugs. Can I do plugs? Oh, sure. If you want to follow me, it's at Chad EMB on Twitter at IB Exclusives on Instagram. And I want to plug this coming soon. Get my go season three. I'm going to say this once. Be prepared. Oh, no. we're, coming, we're coming for you. Wow.
Oh, I have to do my part too, I suppose. You do. Yes, you do. I do. I'm due for that. Okay. Guys, I have new t-shirts. I don't know if you've seen them or not, but they are straight fire. As the kids say, they're really cool looking. Uh, <laughs> PWTs. Uh, please look for those. Um, yeah, they're brand new. Uh, do we, we don't have a picture, huh? I did not pull them up, but I can. That's okay. We'll show them next time. But they're on my Twitter account. Uh, if you can uh, go get one, that would be superb. And if you want to follow me across the board on social media, I am at ECW Diva Francine. Uh, thanks for everything, guys. This was a fun, uh, quick hour, but fun. And uh, we'll be back soon. So have a great night. And I uh, hope to see you again soon. See you later, YouTube.